ท้าเป็นการเป็นตรงที่จะถูกเดินดำผู้เห็นดำที่เขาว่าดีไม่เอาเขาทำไปเอาไปนี่ต่อซึ่งโดยในตัวที่คนโจมของคนอาจจะมีความหมายที่ตัวที่มันสอดเราไม่ได้เป็นบางตัวผู้ฝ่าเที่ยงจ้าเหมือนตัวทั้งที่เราไม่ยอมที่เราเจอเสียงทั้งเส้นในของเราจะเข้าไปแต่เราเส้นตรงของตัวเสร็จเราถึงจะพอในการเราทำความหมายจิตทันทีการจับมือโจมก็เกิดที่เขาเศร้าโจมจะเห็นตัวผู้ฝ่าที่จะผู้ชนะที่จะจับมือตัวของเราจะตีที่เราที่เขาจะตามที่เราไหนนะที่ได้รับตอบตัวเต็มหมดที่ตัวโจมมันเป็นอย่างไรที่เอาแต่เขาไปจะทำตัวโบสถ์อยู่ตรงนี้ทันทีที่ช่างเอาที่หลงที่เขาจะไปฟ้าที่ตัวโบสถ์เช่างนี้นะเช่นเส้นจอดของคนใจชิโนสมมติแบบนี้เรื่องนี้นี่อย่างนี้เดี๋ยวจะต้องช่วยเราทำตัวโบสถ์ไปเองที่จะช่วยอย่างของเราเจอกับผู้เสด็จอยู่ด้วยเพราะฉะนั้นของใจเราก็จะเสื่อมไปเสื่อมไปจนเกิดผู้อย่างใหม่ในเรื่องที่ไปดูดาวไปขันฝันนะทุกโบสถ์เนี่ยว่าที่ผมเป็นชาติต่อเจ้าเนี่ยใครว่าจะตัวเจ้าที่เราถึงตัวโบสถ์ที่จะต้องตัวถึงโบสถ์เขาว่าทำเขาทำเรื่องการที่เราไม่Welcome back again to my channel. It's me again, Jane of Double Mom. Your pretty time, Charot lang yan guys, Charot lang. So ayan guys, for this vlog, I just wanted to share my experience on my second dose vaccine. Yes, I am fully vaccinated. Yeah, AC AstraZeneca. So I just want to share to you guys the experience ko about my second dose vaccine. As you can remember, on my first dose, wala ko naramdaman kahit na anong side effects. I am perfectly fine. So this time, on my second dose, medyo nakaramdam ako ng konti lang naman guys. Konting pananakit ng ulo. And then, nag-vaccine kasi ako 11am. Uh, so, tapos, uh, nung hapon, parang... Medyo iba na yung pakarandam ko eh. Alam niyo yun, yung parang mainit yung pakarandam ko sa loob. Pero hinawakan ko yung loob ko, yung dito ko. Wala naman, hindi siya mainit. Pero yung sa loob ng katawan mo talaga, mararamdaman mo parang medyo mainit. Tsaka yung sihaw ng ilok, yun, dun ko naramdaman na mainit. So, inignore ko muna siya, parang wala lang. Sabi ko, siguro maybe because ng, it's because of the weather lang kasi that time is maulan dito until now, maulan pa rin so yun, and then okay naman, inignore ko lang siya tapos nung gabi after namin mag dinner medyo masakit pa rin yung ulo ko tapos parang medyo nakakarandam ako ng konting panginig so, ayun ang ginawa ko, minum na agad ako ng gamot uh, kasi syempre natakot na din ako, baka lumala pa yung ano, ba diba? Yung side effects. So, yun, uminom ako ng gamot and then inom lang ako ng more water, nag-drink, nag-ano din ako ng milk and ayun, siguro after mga wala pa yata one hour or mahigit, siguro nung tumalam na yung gamot, yun, nawala na siya guys. Pati yung pananakit ng ulo ko, yung nararamdaman ko na parang mainit yung katawan ko, nawala na siya. Tsaka yung konti pahinig, nawala na siya. So, I'm very thankful. Ah, yun. Yun lang yung naramdaman kong pinaka-side effect. Pero sabi nila guys, mas maganda daw yun na may naramdaman ka. Kasi at least yung gamot is parang tumalab siya sa'yo. Parang talab na talab siya, diba? Ah, and then yung, as tulad nga na sabi ko before, depende sa tao, depende sa magiging reaksyon ng katawan natin doon sa vaccine. Kasi uh, on that vaccine day, di ba, after ng vaccine, so magre-rest muna kami. Rest muna for 15 minutes. Uh, ilang minute pa lang yun, meron kami isang kasabay. Medyo hindi na maganda yung pakarandam niya, tinawag na yung egg. 
And then, tinawag nila yung doktor, kinausap siya, tapos umalis, maybe kinonfine siya or something, siguro meron siyang, hindi maganda yung naramdaman niya or may allergy, allergy siya or something, kaya ganon. So, ayun, yung iba na natatakot magpa-vaccine, so, huwag kayo matakot guys, kasi it, kung hindi nyo pa natatry, di ba, paano nyo malalaman? At saka kung para naman sa safety natin at uh, para sa kaligtasan natin, di ba, why not, di ba, why not, di ba, try? So, ayun, ako, dito sa Taiwan, ako yata yung pinakaunang Pinay na nagpa-vaccine. So, ayun, kaya sabi nga nung anak ng amo, ay manula ng amo ko, uh, lakas daw ng loob ko kasi siya kahit isang beses hindi pa siya nakapagpa-vaccine pero ako nakadalawa na. So, sabi ko, kaya niya yun, basta wag siya matakot. Isipin na lang niya ako, ito, I'm alive, I'm strong, and sabi ko, wala, hindi man ako na paano. Kasi siya yung kasama ko nung nagpa-vaccine ako nung the second day, nung second dose ko. So, yung iba, marami kasi dito sa Taiwan na mga worker, mga OFW, mga caregiver, takot sila, ayaw nila magpa-vaccine. So, hindi naman dish hindi naman din sila ma-force ng mga amo nila kasi may batas na bawal pilitin yung worker once na ayaw niya magpa-vaccine. So, in my case, as my opinion, bakit naman ako matatakot, ba diba, kung para sa safety ko naman? Lalo na ngayon, may mga ibang facilities like sa mga restaurant, sa mga hotel, or kung sa mga ibang mga kainan, na no vaccine, no entry. So, if wala kang vaccine, gusto mo magpunta ng mall, gusto mong kumain sa restaurant, paano ka makakapasok, di ba, kung hahanapan ka nila ng vaccine proof? So, why not give a try? Ang, ang sa akin lang naman, just try. Huwag, huwag kayong matakot kasi kanya-kanya naman yan ng ano eh. Depende naman yan sa resistensya ng katawan natin. So, mas maganda magpalakas tayo ng katawan natin para malakas yung resistensya natin. Kaya natin labanan kung ano man yung magiging side effect ng vaccine. So, may friend din ako. Dalawa sila. Sabay sila nagpa-vaccine on that day. Yung isa, talagang as in ilagnan siya. Nag-chill daw talaga siya the whole night. Pero yung isa, wala siyang naramdaman na kahit ano. And then, sabi lang ng friend ko, inom lang siya ng gamot every 4 hours. And then, kinabukasan, wala na, okay na siya. So, sabi nga niya sa akin, tumalab lang daw yung gamot. Kaya, okay lang yan, guys. Huwag kayong matapot. Isipin na lang natin na para sa safety rin din natin. At saka, tulad nun, di ba, may mga ano na, yung iba na amo, ang sabi nila, no, vaccine, no work. So, di ba, di magpabaksin na lang tayo para at least, mas importante yung may work pa rin tayo. Pero sa akin guys, ha, sa akin lang yung opinion ko lang yun. So kung ano yung opinion nyo at yung gusto nyo, bahala pa rin kayo. Sabi nga, uh, bawat tao ay may kanya-kanyang opinion, may kanya-kanyang pan yung gusto, ba diba? So it's our freedom, it's our right. Pero yun sa akin, para sa akin lang naman yun. So kung ayaw nyo, wala rin, na, wala rin magagawa, ba diba? Hindi rin tayo magpilit kasi human rights yun eh. Sabi nga nila, Um, yung may batas na pinalabas dito kasi nga maraming mga OFW na nagre-reklamo na pinaforce daw sila ng amo nila na magpa-vaccine pero ayaw naman nila so may pinalabas na batas na hindi pwedeng i-force yung worker kung ayaw pero actually guys ako hindi man ako sinabihan ng amo ko voluntary talaga ako na nagpa-vaccine kaya ayun so far yun sila nakat first dose na rin sila, kaya ayun, safe naman din sila, okay naman. So, yun lang guys, ang um, mapapayo ko lang, don't be afraid, basta isipin na lang natin para sa safety lang natin yun. And one thing, pray lang, pray. Dasta lang tayo, tiwala lang. Uh, someday, alam ko na matatapos din lahat ng pagsubok na tayo sa ating buhay, na matatapos din tong pandemic na to, basta pray lang tayo, at hindi tayo pababayaan ni Lord. So, yon muli. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga subscribers ko for always watching my video. 
to all my silent viewers, thank you so much sa inyo sa lahat ng supporta nyo at tulong nyo sa akin. Basta sama-sama lang tayo, tulong-tulong lang tayo. And then ako naman, I'm not promising, basta may time ako, on time man or mali, support lang ako sa inyo guys. So, yun lang guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for to all for always supporting my channel. At yung mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, baka naman. You can click the bell and subscribe. You can also like and share my video kung alam niyo na may konting matututunan or may konting aral na pwede niyo i-share sa mga kaibigan niyo. So, yun lang po. Thank you so much ulit and keep safe and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.